Hello everybody, I'm Rick, and it's my goal to lose weight using Ring Fit Adventure. Hello everyone, welcome to Ring Fit Adventure. I am Rick, like that other very sexy voice person said at the start of the video. I see you've been working on, I don't know what, for some reason, I think it's because I, I, it's I see, and then you see the word hard. It keeps, I keep feeling like I'm seeing, I've heard, I hear you've been working hard lately at whatever. I don't, I don't know why. My brain just kind of goes that direction with it. Uh, I'm going to apologize right at the start of the episode in case the audio is weird. I'm trying something a little different. Uh, traditionally, what I've done up until now, so for the first, you know, 78 days of this, with a few exceptions when I completely screw up, uh, the boom mic, or the shotgun mic, has been right on top of the camera. Uh, today, rather than, and, and on the days where I mess that up, it's literally like the, the shotgun mic is on the floor or something. Um, because I had to take it off in order to move the camera for like a live shot and I forgot to put it back on afterwards. Now the boom mic is right there in front of me and pointed directly at my face. Not that it wasn't doing that before, but uh, Jeff had pointed out the way that I had it before, the shotgun mic was pointed at me at a 45 degree angle, uh, at a 45 degree angle against the back wall a back wall that has a 45 degree angle pointed downward, so, and and one that's pretty bare too, so there's just like a lot of opportunity for that sound to bounce around. Not that we don't have the same here. Uh, there's a good chance that we wind up with a lot of weird audio with this. There's a chance we wind up with a lot of footstep sounds, which isn't, whoops, I thought we were done. I don't know what the hell's wrong with me. There you go. But just kind of taking a look at the audio, I also turned down the gain a bit because we were getting a lot of background noise. I guess in the end it doesn't super matter since I'd be adding it artificially later, so maybe that's going to be worse. I don't really know. Uh, this could also be a terrible mic for what we're trying to do. Uh, so clearly I got to do a little more research. Oh my god, we're back to having more experience per level. I didn't even notice that last time. We'd done. 5,000 per level for a while, and now it's 5,050. Uh, let's see, let's start with squattery goal, uh, squattery, not squattery goal, squat goals is one thing, squattery wheel. Uh, all right, it's advanced, we got a dragon drink recipe, that sounds pretty nice. All right. It's so fine control on this, like... I feel like it should be a lot less fine. Like, I should have to squat lower to get to the bottom of that, I think. Ready? Go! Point your toes straight ahead. Whoa, 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 I stopped. What are you... What? Oh, okay. I thought it was still going. I was like, what the hell? Nope. Okay. Not great. This one's so awkward. Actually, you know, that's not terrible. I, that's, it, you know, I was expecting that to be like maybe in the 70s. The neck was definitely something that I should have been better with there. But I kind of, it's weird. You're trying to fix one thing and it makes the entire rest of it grow. So, you, so it's like kind of a weird trick trying to, oh, pot molder. 
Scully and Pop Molder. Now let's check out this dragon drink recipe. I'm curious about this. So how... How does this work? Also, it's weird that you get paths to go through all these when you already had access to everything but the corners to start with. Oh, I guess that, that makes sense though, because you need to be able to access it from one of these sides. So it's just the opposite direction, but... Uh, dragon drink. Whoa! We can make rare candies, guys! Holy shit! Need a lot of dragon fruit for it, but still. Damn. Okay. Wasn't anticipating that. Fitness gym. Posture set. And we get the peacock contender shoes, which will complete our set, which I think will give us better green damage. So, alright. Let's do it. At nine minutes, there's a good chance this is going to be the... <laughs> this is going to wind up being, like, the longest part of today's exercise, but... Alright. Okay, let's move! Be sure not to bend your lower back when you raise your arms. Yes! Oh, that's right. These aren't going to have any speed-up ones. Okay. They're all going to be the same speed. It's all going to be full exercises on these. Alright! That's alright. I might go and do the, uh, the rightmost Drago Stadium Square. Just for the sake of, uh, opening up those other two corners. And then that way, uh, for tomorrow through, I guess probably Tuesday, we'll just have Drago Stadiums to to clear. And I think... It's interesting, I think that this game probably does uh, the level up drink the smart way. It's, see, I, I think we didn't we actually get a level up drink at one point already. Like, I think we won one or something. And I think the idea is... It's... Done in a way where it doesn't... Imp so, alright. One of the problems with using a rare candy... Well, there's two problems with using a rare candy in Pokemon. The first is that it doesn't just give you a level. It gives you the experience points to get to the next level. So if your Pokemon is like 50 experience points from getting to the next level, you're only going to get 50 experience points. Um, you're not going to get... Um, a full level, you're going to get enough to be at the next level with zero extra experience points. The other problem is you are gaining, uh, uh, because it's experience points based, the number of experience points that you're skipping by using a rare candy at level 10 is significantly smaller than the number of experience points you'd be gaining by using a rare candy at level, say, 60. I think the way this game does it is it just increases your level number. It doesn't change your experience points. It doesn't change the number of experience points to get to the next level. It just changes your level number. I assume, essentially, there's a separate counter that modifies your level so that it can use whatever the internal value is that, you know, the unmodified level to determine how many experience points get you to the next level. I may be wrong about that, but I think that's how this works. Alright. Alright, don't slip. Okay, let's go. Be careful not to drop the ring con. Alright. Good job. Amazing. So far so good. This one's been going pretty smooth so far. Have we gotten okay. anything other than 100 yet? Amazing. It's interesting. Some exercises, you basically either get 100 or you don't. Like, nice. pretty hard to mess up. Then there's others where they are very critical awesome. of the exact way you do it. Great. Nice. Those ones, we are unlikely to get hundreds Thank for as an entire set. Yes. But this set, yes. it, it seems like a real possibility of just acing it. It just depends what those other two are. It looks like one might be a tree pose. The other one is like a hip raise. 
Hip Raise could be one that could screw us, because that's one that I could see being... You made it. Hip Lift. Hip Lift. Oh boy, alright. I gotta be careful with this or I'm gonna lose the ring con. Alright, I'm gonna slide. This is gonna get weird. It's gonna get weird very quick. Oh wait, I'm not ready yet. Okay, let's move. It's already like slipping out. Alright. This exercise works on your lower body. Oh Jesus. Yes! Nice improvement. Lost it. Ah! Bend a fingernail trying to catch it. Whoa, I didn't do anything yet. And return. Didn't do anything, guys. Good job! Excellent! Mm -hmm. Excellent! Sharp! They're really hard to grip the ring con right now. I'm feeling this in some weird places. I'm actually feeling it the most Amazing. on the back of my thighs. Nice. I don't know if that's where it's expected Nicely to be felt. Done. I guess I'm Great. feeling it in my core also. All right. Five more. All right. Work. Just a few Good. more to go. Definitely feeling in the back of my okay. thighs. Awesome. What left? Right on. Oh you my god. It. That is tree pose, god damn it. Ooh, my legs did not love that. Slowly bend to the left. Whoop. My balance is gonna be all screwed up now. Wow, I can't even... <sighs> Let's mess up my legs immediately before I need to be very careful of my balance. Perfect. Lower a little more. Can be you? Sure to keep yourself steady. Oh boy. Good. Okay. Bend a little more. Nope. Got it for a sec there. Okay. Okay, let's switch sides. <sighs> Don't forget to switch legs. Slowly bend to the right. Slowly return to the starting position. God Try damn. Angle your raised knee straight out to the side. Curious how much that 128 that we got <laughs> on the hip lift is gonna screw us here. Alright, hey! Turns out 128 among like a hundred hundreds doesn't really have a particularly strong impact. That's good. Ah, what a mess. We made it! Peacock contender, yes. Yes, change our clothes. Uh, it looks like there's a request over here. I'm gonna I'm gonna pass on those for right now. I just did both those mini games. It was next on my list too, actually. All right, Drago Stadium again. It's just gonna keep being Drago Stadium again. That's just how it works. How much you want? To, how much you want to bet that all six of them are not Drago, and we have to go fight him like in the empty square near town or something? Stairs are easier to climb if you raise your knees up higher. Mm -hmm. 
Goddamn stairs. Oh, you're on the stairs. Doing great. Yep. I am the stair master. You did it. <laughs> the uh, the drag uh, El Dorago. Yes. Yeah. I specifically hated this stair one, but I hated all of them. <laughs> Cause they all did this kind of shit where they would yeah. like do something terrible Oops. for a, a like continuous amount of time. Definitely a lot of endurance tests. It's just like, guys, do you know how hard it is to run with high knees for this long? Come on. They do. You? It's the whole idea. <laughs> and then I was like, oh yeah, sweet, I'm done. And then it was like another ridiculous long set of stairs. Yeah. <laughs> and then you're like, no, why? I hate you. Oh, wait, this one doesn't even have buddies. Yeah, there's mini ones and there's full size ones. Well, they were the last one I did had two guys on the side. <coughs> they switch it up a little. Let's do a right back. Here we go. Ugh. I just did the uh, posture set, which was fine, with the exception that the uh, the hip lifts they have you do as number four. Really mess up your legs immediately before doing tree pose for number five. Yeah, they, they do that shit on purpose. Very mean. I had like such. I had worse balance than usual for that. Fine work. I just hate how much defense they have. Yeah, they're very beefy. You're just like, okay, I guess I'm gonna be here for fucking yeah. ever while fighting them. Yeah. That was my whole frustration with this whole world. It's yeah. like every level was super irritating, and then you have like a super long fight. Every single one. I, like, I wouldn't guys. be surprised if these guys had like 75% of what Drago's actual health bar is. Yeah, something, right? It's, it's just so irritating. Yeah. At least I don't have other dudes to worry about for this one. Good job. Uh, awesome. Yeah, it's always a little simpler, and you can use your higher power moves. Exactly. I like the peacock outfit. Yeah, it's it. it's hilarious because you get it right at the same time the stone dragon is available, and it's just exactly the same, but also has uh, green boosts. Right, and I was like, I mean, this also boosts my yoga moves, so why not? Yeah. Like, only better? It's a very strange call to put those right next to each other. They do. I feel like, I feel like they do that a, a lot with the stone. Oh, right, this. Like, skill and attack. Uh, let's do the. I always choose my highest power moves first. I usually do, but for me, that's tree pose, and it's okay, just just go. annoying enough to do. And I just did it a minute ago, and my legs are still wobbly. Keep it up. Fine work. That's fine. Perfect. Uh, but yeah, it's just kind of like uh, a long battle. Fantastic. Yep. Slightly boring one too. Yep. There's a reason I was not a huge fan of El Drago. El Dorado. Yeah. Sorry. I thought the name was funny. And that was about it. The name was funny. As soon as I saw it, I was like El Dorado. All right, cool. So El Dorado reference, and I was just like, oh no, is this Dra is this Drago's house? Like, <laughs> and the answer is sort of, sort of basically. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah, well now we're halfway, so that's good. Ugh. Yeah. Just gonna bring my defense power back to minus one again. Even though he hasn't done anything with his actual turn. They make weird choices a lot of the time, I found. It is a little odd, for sure. They, they attack surprisingly little. Is what it like. I don't know. Okay, let's go. Okay. Yeah, it's it's the la the other one that we did where we, where we had two buddies attack. He attacked me more. Though even then, with my defense power down when he attacked me, I think he did like one and a half hearts. So it's not even like yeah, they're not that dangerous. They're not even that strong. 
I have yet to use a single peach or watermelon anything yet. Oh yeah, me too. The closest I came was in World maybe 8 or 9 or something where he used like a brand new fireball attack and it brought me down to one half of one quarter of a heart. That's the thing where they start coming really fast at you in the in-between part. No, right? not that. No. It was just like some huge fire attack. And if you didn't perfect the oh, blocking... Oh, you had to perfect block. Yes, I think I perfect block. I did too. I think the idea is if you don't perfect block, it just kills you. Look. Come on. You've encountered the thing, though, where he, like, does fireballs really fast at you now, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I was just, like, in shock when I encountered that the <laughs> first time. Because the boulders and the crates were all so easy to stop. Right. And then, really? This is some weird AI. Like, I'm just going to kill him now. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and he didn't do anything to me. Do I get a bonus point for taking no damage game? Okay, let's go. <laughs> Uh, okay. Yeah, I'm probably, I guess, a quarter-ish of the way through well done. El Dorago after this one. Gotcha. This is number two of six. And then there's the little, like, corner spot. Yeah, I've done two of the corners, though I haven't done the requests there yet. Well done. Figure I'll save those for next time. Yeah, there's like a request when you get there like immediately. Yeah, yeah. It's like find dragon fruit or something. Yeah, which like, is just beat one of these. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But also, I got the dragon drink recipe. Yes, the level up drink. Yes, that'll be really nice. nice. Dragon fruit are kind of rad though. I would imagine so. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if you could literally only get them from Drago. Or, you know, these guys, I guess. Yeah, all right, whatever. Oh, all right, there we go. I know these guys dropped the, like, yeah, the stone fragments uh, or the statue cores. That's what whatever, I need is the like. core. I've already got I already got the shorts, so I don't need the fragments anymore. Yeah, it's like the big hey. statues drop cores and the mini statues drop fragments, something like that. Here we go. Finally broke 400 with now something other than tree pose. Nice. Experience point with a victory pose. Ready when you are, buddy. Yeah, sometimes it's like, I need to prep you for this, and you're like, guys, we, we do victory pose all the time. Yeah. I can handle victory pose. Right? I've done this at least a hundred times now. <laughs> Lightly cover the IR motion camera with the pad of your right thumb, as shown. There we go. It's like, did you, it's not like it's been that long since I've done this. Right? I did this yesterday, guys. That's always one that gets me a little bit when they need to like re-remind, they're like, oh, we're gonna re-teach you how to paddle your yeah. boat. And I'm like, but, but I did that like two days ago. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so another false lead. We've got a lot, we got a lot of experience here too. We're definitely closer to Drago. Let's keep going. Okay, so I do think they are set then for which ones do what. Because I'm pretty sure that was the one that was also heavy stairs for me. I think the levels are set. I think the fights... I guess the fights are probably set also. Well, no, they're definitely not set because whichever one you pick... Is it literally last the last one that's just Drago? Drago, right? Sense, yeah. yeah. Um, well, that might be more of a, like, well, it could just be. Thing. It could just be that there's statues everywhere and then the last one they just substitute nice Drago back stand. in. Stretches. And the idea is, even if there's well, other dudes that are there... Some of them are there, like one statue, though, and some of them are like the core statue, and like there's different kinds of it statues. Could, I, I would not be surprised if they start with start with fragment statues, then upgrade to core statues after you've done a couple, and then Drago's in the last one. That's fair. That'd be my guess, like three fragments, two cores, and then Drago. That's fair. Return to your original <sighs> position. Which hands? I could have sworn I, I alternated between them, though, or something, though. The, like, core ones and the fragments ones. I mean, it's also possible that there's three cores and three fragments. And again, whatever you pick last, they just substitute actual Drago. Touche, touche. Coach. Coach. Bring yourself hey. back slowly. She's actively shaking the camera. Hey, come on. <laughs> she just dragged it with her tail. Oh, she does that all the time. It's a huge pain in the ass, and it's only ever when the camera's in use. She will literally do that anytime we do like a live video as well. 
Like if we're doing a live intro, she'll show up just to nuzzle on the camera and be a pain. Be in the way. Hold your breath. Yep. It's your superpower. Yep. <sighs> Bring yourself back slowly. Put your right. right foot forward and cross your legs. Bend your body forward and stretch the back of your left leg. There we go. Uh, but yeah, so. Hold it like that for a little longer. So I guess when we come back for tomorrow, we've got those two corners. Straighten up and switch legs. Which are probably another game in like a battle gym or something. I didn't get a good look at them. But we also have a rare hoplin, stretch or a gold hoplin, and a treasure to take care of. So those will be. There as Breathe well. Slowly as you hold. Mm. Slowly straighten up, bit by bit. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to slowly do requests as I clear the other levels. Put I don't know. I don't want to like go. All right, cool. This episode is just mini games and requests, and then now I've got you know an episode of two Drago Stadium battles, and then another episode of two Drago Stadium battles. Like that sounds horrible. Yep. <laughs> so. Now switch legs. Shift your center of balance forward and stretch out the opposite side. There we go. So we'll probably do the treasure of the gold hoplin to a Drago Stadium, go back, do some mini games. Bring alternate a bit. Back slowly. I definitely just basically want to avoid doing two Drago Stadiums in a row at any point during this. Rotate your hands behind your back right. and grasp your left wrist. While pulling your wrist to the right, lower your neck the same way. Bring your neck back up and stretch. I definitely need to find as well. a non light bulb based lighting solution for this summer. I'm gonna die. Oh, yeah, that thing is so warm. Yeah, it kicks out a lot of heat. Yes, it does. Get some LEDs, baby. LEDs are bright. It's a matter of figuring out where to place them and how to use them. That's good job right there. Well, yeah, but it's also like if we're doing like um, live yeah, recording Yeah, they'll be videos. less movable. Well, also just like the shadows they cast could be a little bit tricky too. Oh, muscle quiz. Can you name the muscle at the front side of your torso? The front side of your torso, I think. Well, so, all right, let's knock some out here. Rotator cuffs are in your shoulders. Um, I want to say the oblique abdominal was the one that was on the sides. Mm -hmm. And transverse is presumably in the back. I assume straight is just the one in front. Yeah. Straight. Oblique, transverse. I think you're yeah. the, the order of those. Pretty sure that's right. Yeah. Need a chest or boat pose. Have you done boat pose yet? Uh, like once or twice. It's. I, I think it's like only it. been. I think it's only been for like a mini game or a battle or something. It's too, it's a difficult one, but I like it. Well, that is it for today. We'll come back tomorrow for the end of week 18. We're gonna do some more Drago stuff. We got a ways to go. See you guys later. Bye. Ah, oh, there goes the camera. Bye. Bye.